Hi guys! Hey everyone! Welcome to Make 2 and another episode of our Sims 4 Let's Play series starring the Eden Cho family. We are here with Jamie Eden in his new restaurant, Dinerberg, which we did the grand opening for in the previous episode. And it's a Sunday afternoon, so it looks like things are going well. He's got some customers in. And we're getting a whole bunch of four stars from these customers, like you said. This is the second day that's been opened. The last episode we did the grand opening. Mm -hmm. Jamie, I think, is pretty excited, but also pretty chill. He's keeping things cash in Dinerberg, <laughs> which has both diner food and burgers and a couple of cocktails as well for those patrons that wish to have some. Oh, we're making some money. Maya wants us to come over. She doesn't seem to realize that Jamie is at work. I mean, he might be dancing to the jukebox, but he is at work. Yeah, he's the atmosphere guy. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that waitress just sitting on a stool doing nothing? Oh, really? Hmm, I don't know. I, uh, before we started recording, I had Jamie, like, check in with his employees. Yeah. And the waitress, one of her traits is kleptomaniac. Oh no, uh -huh. really? Did we, we didn't know that about no, her, did we? No, we found it out. She's childish, kleptomaniac, and something else, so got to be a little bit careful with that one. She sounds a little flaky, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, ooh, we have three stars here, and it says not very happy with the wait times, but uh, management, Jamie can't do anything with them. Okay, we've got Clara here, management, can't do anything with her either. Uh, hmm... Yeah, there's only so much we can do to manage this restaurant. A lot of it seems to be, Jamie's the manager. He's got to be hands-off and empower his staff, you know, train them, promote them, yeah. give them feedback. Uh, whereas I think I was thinking Jamie would just be the one in the kitchen doing stuff, but no, nope, well, he's the guy who does the dancing <laughs> and the disciplining. I mean, I think I knew this. Why? Oh, no, why is a customer carrying dirty dishes? Know, it's oh, quite that's a few not times. really. Oh, man. Okay. So maybe we should hire another waitress. Do a we have a different enough... waitress or a <laughs> second waitress? Well, do we have enough perk points to hire another waitress? I don't know. Let's check it out. Okay. So this is chefs. Here we can do waiters. So, yeah, we need to unlock the additional employees. So if we go over here to perk points, additional waiter. Yeah, we got enough. We can do that. Yeah, we could do it. Okay. Let's go for it. Okay. Now let's get one that hopefully isn't a kleptomaniac or a flake <laughs> and someone who'll be a little bit quick. Yeah. All right. Well, we have a, a lot of dudes. So. Oh, Cole Eccles mm -hmm. is a good dude. Okay. I have another Sim who's good friends with him. All right. Let's hire Cole Eccles. Mm -hmm. Equal opportunity employer, Jamie is. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I think this is probably a little below what he can do. Oh, yeah. But if he's up for it, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's, let's see when he turns up. Hopefully it'll be soon because we are at 3.30 in the afternoon on a Sunday. What is she what doing? What is she doing? Why are you digging in the trash, waitress lady? Klepto. Okay, hold on. You need some management. You need to be, what do you think? Check up on... Gentle, Critical. relaxed approach. Mm. Look at her just dumping trash out on the floor. Come on. Oh, look, there's Cole coming in to work right now. You look so cute. Yeah. Work is what work is. It's just a means to an end for me. Oh, great. I mean, this now, is our... Now, Jamie's on the floor tidying things up. He's scavenging for parts. But, like, oh. this is our... This is our... Our... You know, our <laughs> passion project. And she's like, work is work. So you're going to be criticized a little bit. Yes. Yep. Look worried. I'll work harder. Okay. I promise. Fine. Well, let's keep right an eye on her. Way. And if not, she'll be getting some more disciplining. See, look, Cole's already yeah. right in the mix of things. Okay, let's pray. <gasps> one star. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, no. Why one star? Oh, let's give her an enchanting introduction and hopefully that'll fix her up. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> what? What? Okay, it seems to have turned her around. I hope that Jamie being the owner is going to actually change her star rating. I don't know. I think she's not even a customer anymore. She no, just came she's in. There was gone. the one star and she's no longer... Oh my Meanwhile, goodness. Meanwhile, this lady's been here since we opened and she's been busy cleaning things up. The swanky looking lady. This is Clara. Yeah, Clara. She's, a, she, she's yeah. a snob. I don't know why she's still here. Okay, okay. why is this? Way? What's so What's fascinating going on? in the trash? Oh my goodness. Cole, stop it. <laughs> okay, well, we should do some friendly management. Maybe check up on 
Oh my goodness. Well, let's see if he let's see if he clears it up himself. I mean, does the trash just need to be taken out? Is that Do what... we have do you have an external trash? I don't. Well, they need an external trash because when the internal trash is full. Oh. Okay, let's see if we do you want to quickly switch into build mode? Let's yeah, let's see one. that. Mm. Okay, so trash cans. Yes, let's choose one for the outside. Mm. Anyone. That one's fine. That one is yeah. fine. Okay. Yeah, let's put it somewhere. You don't want to go too far because they have to walk to it, of course. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Over here? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> right, let's uh, plan. Hopefully, things will sort themselves out. Gosh. Well, what we wanted to do was check out oh, Jamie's. Oh, no. okay. So <laughs> what? That customer was upset because there was trash on the well, floor. Well, of course he's upset there's trash on the floor, but there's not oh, that see. much I can do. Jamie's taking it out. Exactly. Okay. Jamie's taking see. it out. Jamie's doing what he can, what the game is allowing us to do with the limited capabilities of the dine out pack. <laughs> Where has other other waitress gone? She's just disappeared. Uh, she's literally disappeared. Oh, man. Okay. What we really she? have to do something about her. Yeah. Like, oh, dear. That's her shift, yo. Come on. Okay. Meanwhile, I still think we should be encouraging Cole because we don't necessarily need two waiters. Certainly, given that our cook is not, you know, the best, <laughs> he's struggling a little bit, I think, to keep up with demand. Yeah. So, should we hire a second cook? I don't, I don't know. Meanwhile, our reviews are going up. We're getting up to two and a half stars, yeah. which is pretty good. <laughs> Thanks for the feedback, Mr. Eden. I won't let it go to my head. That's nice. Okay, so we we just, we just have so many people who need to be... Oh, this is our waitress. She yes. She's not even in her, in her waitress Done. out form. Done. No, I'm not going to fire her just yet. I mean, she's just really, really, really bad. <laughs> are you here on duty, lady? Goodness. Well, given we can manage her. What is wrong with her, though? I want oh, she's... Ugh. I want her to be in her outfit. So, ask to see outfit. Uh, nope, can't... Basically, there's some sort of weird thing going on with this waitress, and she is not here in her waitress outfit. Mm. Welp. Welp. And now she's just hanging out on her phone oh, rather than giving any order gosh. to the chef. Okay, so I've already criticized her. I mean, we've already checked up on her. What can we do? Pay for training? Let's do one last chance. Ugh, We're paying for your training. Crumbs. I would be... She would be gone. <laughs> but we we have had people complaining about their wait times and whatnot, and you need more staff to help you out with that okay. kind of stuff. <sighs> yeah, but also you need what you need good stuff. <laughs> Maybe if you had one good waiter, that would be enough to well, sort out the whole restaurant. That's what I was hoping restaurant. Cole would be. Yeah, he's doing his biz. He, we should also give him some training as well. Yeah, but you know. Also, it seems they have to give their orders on this side. I know. <laughs> it's because there's a like this. I think technically is not supposed to be there. Um, uh, we can just, switch them around. It's just there for atmosphere, really. Yeah, but if we switch, just put them. One on one side, one on the other. Just literally flip those two counters around. Yeah, but it, like I said, it's that's the aesthetics of oh, okay. the the aesthetics of the thing. Oh, that's okay. how it's supposed to look. <laughs> I mean, regardless of whether you can actually make the game, make the chef use this, that's the way I want it to look. Okay, facing and that's the way out to the it bar. Will look. Okay, Cole well, delivered the food. That's yeah. going well. Um, losing a bit of money. Meal profits ninety eight. Now, we had another idea. It's getting towards dinner time. Mm -hmm. Maybe we pause from Jamie's view and have one of our sims come and hopefully be the perfect guest at Dinerberg. Yeah. We were thinking that we would have another sim in our family check out what it's like to be a customer at this place. So I'm thinking maybe Jamie's sister, Bon, she lives in the same building as Jamie, which is literally right around the corner mm -hmm. in the Spice District. So we're going to bring her over. And this is also an occasion for her to invite a new friend over. Oh, cool. That's a great idea. She lives with Shredder, mm -hmm. a gorgeous little kitten. Mm-hmm. But we have a task for her to get out and about and try and make some new friends. Yep, yeah, because she's a single girl in the city and it's a good time in her life to be meeting new people and having new experiences. So here she is actually playing basketball with Maya. 
I guess that's nice to see them <laughs> hanging out. <laughs> Maya's coming back to uh, her old haunts because, of course, Maya used to live in... The art district. Uh, exactly. So pretty nearby here, a stone's throw away. Alrighty, so these are all of Bond's contacts. Some, she's got a bunch. Yeah, she's got a bunch. A lot of these are sort of old people, you know, family and friends that she knows from college and whatnot. But we have a few new people down here. Oh, cool. So I'm going to say let's invite Arun and Jess Minder wow, to the restaurant. Wow, three people at dinner <laughs> together. That's cool. Hopefully they have a good experience. Because, of course, the last place Bon had burgers was in Windenburg, where she and Jamie went to university, and she had food poisoning. Actually, not just the last time, but, like, both times. Exactly. Now, it's actually pretty hard, <laughs> we found during a Let's Play, to have people go to a restaurant, sit down, talk to each other, and not get super distracted. Mm. For some reason, all the stars aligned it worked really well when Jamie and Abigail were going out exploring and researching restaurants, but I hope it's going to go well for Bon today, particularly because she's going to want to help Jamie get some five-star reviews. Are you are, are you seeing this waitress? Like, Is she, that her? Yes. Fire that lady. <laughs> All She's right. gone. I mean, by the end of the episode, I guess, I guess yeah. we'll, I mean, her, her <laughs> days are, are being numbered right now. I mean, my yeah. goodness. Oh, that's nice. A corner booth. Excellent. Excellent. Sit your butt down, Bon, and, mm -hmm. and draw on the placement. I guess. <laughs> yeah, she's done that before. She likes that kind of thing. So who are these people? Ask about career and over here, ask about career. Mm -hmm. I don't see Jamie, so maybe Jamie has ducked out. Okay. Whoa. A lab oh. technician. Okay, that's how they know each other. <laughs> okay. Oops. I didn't realize that. Because she's dressed not in her lab coat, so. Yeah. No. And I mm, wonder what's see. the relation between these two. Are they married? They're young adults, so it seems kind of uh, early for them to be married, but. Let's mm, see. What well... did she know? Arun is a quality assurance at Rainy Day Entertainment. Alrighty. Okay. Okay, should we order? Yeah, order for table. Order for the table. That's a nice drawing she's doing. <laughs> yeah, let's get the food ordered. What are we going to go for? Uh, let's go for... They serve drinks here, so I'm going to say drinks. Okay. I specifically wanted drinks for everybody. Or, you know, drinks for the menu. So... Let's just get them all get the same drink. Keep it easy for the chef. Well, whatever. <laughs> And for food, let's just go ahead and go for burgers. So what do you think? Yep, I think let's go for the chef's choice. Chef's let's choice. Let's go for th everyone get it. Yep. And that's good for now, right? Drinks yep. and a burger. And now let's see if Bon can, you know, carry on chatting away. So, for friendly things you can do... A uh, compliment outfit is always a good one. Mm. That is a nice outfit she's got on too, so well deserved. Mm. She, that's actually gorgeous. I don't think mm -hmm. I remember seeing that. And obviously we have it in Creative Sim, but I don't remember seeing it. So... <laughs> Disgust <laughs> us. Yeah, why I not? mean, let's do the easy thing. I wonder why only one place setting is out here, though. Yeah, I don't know. Well, we've only got one waiter at the moment, so <laughs> maybe he's struck. Oh, no, we have a second one. I mean, she is just ugh, like, what is her deal? She's glitchy. Yeah. She's glitchy, like as a person. Yeah. So is that like a personal problem? Like, is it a bad thing to fire somebody for being glitchy? Well, or, you've you know. still got to have your restaurant. It's, it's Jamie's business. So ultimately, if it's a choice between glitchy waitress or his business he's <laughs> got to pick his business because that's that's his dream it's his passion it's his life but it kind of feels like she, he'd be firing somebody for like a condition that they can't help <laughs> <You know? laughs> like her personality yeah like discriminating against her like what that's what i'm saying like is glitchiness a yeah. personality disorder in which case like is it on that like list of things that you should not be discriminating against you know, for employment purposes, or is she just like a slack and bad well, employee? In management, you've got to separate, like with lots of things like parenting and stuff, separate the act from the person. Yeah. So she may or may not be a good person. I don't think so. But 
but you've got to analyze her actions. So you can say, you are not showing up on time. Mm-hmm. You are not helping customers f- throughout your shift. Mm-hmm. You need to do these things. If you don't meet those standards, you can no longer work here. We have standards of employment. So that's how I would handle it as a manager and try and be very clear. These are my expectations. <laughs> this is what you must do in order to keep this job. If she doesn't keep those, doesn't meet those actions, then she's gone. So keep her personality out of it, glitchy and annoying as it might be. But what if she comes back and tries to sue Jamie and say, actually, you did fire me for my glitchy personality and not for my actions? Well, that's you got to take note. <laughs> We're getting into management stuff here. That's well, you got to have notes about like, okay, you've got to serve. You can, you're not allowed to leave a table waiting for more than two minutes. Whoa, did you, you didn't see that Whoa. flirtiness. He like blew a kiss at just Minder. Well, that's nice. So maybe they're together. How cute. Um, I hope Bon isn't feeling like the... Third wheel? Yeah. Or fifth wheel? Yeah, I was thinking greasy wheel, but that's the wrong one. Greasy... <laughs> You're so... The squeaky wheel. Squeaky... Yeah, yeah. Oh, do they not like each other? What's going on? What? Oh, uh, no, I think bon? they just... Bon, don't be like that. That's your co-worker. Uh... Okay, let's see. Talk about... What? She's not liking Arun. Like... What's going on? There's some weirdness going on here. There's some weird dynamics here. Mm. Maybe they're just overly hungry? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, they've all got their food. Complain about or discuss work. You could do that. Alrighty, everybody's got food and drink. Maybe Mm -hmm. that, yeah, will make everybody more merry, as you were saying. Yeah. I just want to see those friendship bars go up. (laughs) <laughs> well, we're in the flirty zone right now, even well. though we had those weird thought bubbles with the anti. Oh, look, somebody's sitting outside. Somebody's actually using the table Ooh, outside. That's, that's, nice. that's That is nice. You don't even have to buy anything. Just sit out there and make the restaurant look good. That's yeah, fine. Under these pretty lights and all that. I mean, yeah. this place looks really bustling. And I'm kind of now wondering where the other waiter that we hired is. Cole? Cole. Like, yeah. He seems hmm. to be missing as well. Why do we have customers just standing in the middle of the cooking station ah this restaurant (laughs) well we went for looks over practicalities and that's fine (laughs) but it does just mean that the staff have to work around it they seem to be getting on those three yeah but yeah i just want i just want bond's relationship going on the up sometimes it seems some sims just really find it really easy to make friends some Mm -hmm. sims it just takes a lot longer for them to find somebody they click with and i think bond is one of those peeps yeah, well, she's a loner. She's always been a loner. Mm-hmm. So it does take her a longer time, but it's good to see her like out and trying. She's yeah. feeling inspired, so I'm going to have her discuss a new idea, maybe like a work idea. Who knows? She's already finished her burger. <laughs> These two have not. Does that mean they've been too busy talking uh-huh. and she has not been talking and therefore she just ate? It's kind of rude, Bon. You like, well, she could be, up she's your food. listening, which is fine. All right, There's well, nothing wrong with that. Let's see if they eat. Let's see if they do any gossip about her. Hmm. Where's okay. he off to now? I don't He's off to the toilet. Yeah, Bong's okay. off to the toilet as well. Oh, there's uh-huh. Cole. There's our waiter. Okay. But he looks very smart. No sign of Jamie. No. Uh-oh. Oh, no! What? Dirty toilets! My it's goodness. It's a good thing that Bong went there. But that she is the sister of the owner. Jamie, your place is having some real growing pains right now. Mm. Who Who is in charge of cleaning them, though, I wonder? The waitress, probably. We need to explore this. <laughs> Look, we have customers taking food out of the refrigerator, dirty <laughs> dishes and whatnot. Oh, my gosh. Here's a random This is so weird. Wait, why have we thing? got a second chef? How did that happen? See, you can use this. Well, I don't ha- know. I don't know how it happened, but you can use this. <laughs> How come we've got two chefs? I don't know, but let's roll with it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, no, then burger's still there. I thought that We she... have a totally different waiter here. I mean, basically, the game kind of just runs this restaurant without us when we're not running it, which is super weird. Cause... And it kind of seems like we need two chefs because <laughs> we got two chefs in there. We've got like... And three a, waiters. A chef that we didn't hire. Yeah, a wa- another waiter that we didn't hire. Yeah, we yeah. Do, do you want to know the, the good and the bad? Hmm. I don't think any of the profits or costs are going to go to Jamie. You know what? I think that 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 could be right. Yeah, that's not great. <laughs> but it also means all these expensive waiters we're hired and all the expensive chefs, we're not paying for the meat. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. yeah, it's a shame that we can't, um, you know, give a review to our friend's restaurant. 
It's a shame that these two have not eaten their burgers. I'm wondering if actually... So the thing is, Bon ordered for the table. And what if they didn't want hamburgers? Maybe they're vegetarian. Oh, maybe she forgot to ask. Even she's yes. like, let me order. Yeah. Maybe that explains some of the awkwardness oh, at the dear. table. Well, let's have Bon try and get it back. At least try and keep it friendly. She doesn't have to make a best friends from this evening out. But it'd be good if she could just say, you know, I went out. I was sociable. I had a nice time. Um, we're not going to be best buds, but, you know. Yeah. Well, Still friends. Don't want her relationships to get worse from going out for the evening. Just having her get to know them. Well. <laughs> just pick something nice. Maybe talk about cooking with yeah. Oren. Just try and find out what food he does like. Oh, this is a real social faux pas, ordering food that your friends can't eat. Not even your friends, but like your new friends who you're trying yeah. to get on the good side of. The How drinks awkward. went well, though. Yeah, but, but they're, you know, we invited them out for dinner. By the way, it's 1.30 in the morning <laughs> and they haven't eaten. Maybe they'd already eaten. Oh, gosh. I don't know. Yeah. Um. Okay, well, she, she tried to get to know, but no new information came up. Well, I think she already knows about them, so... Okay. I think do things like discuss aliens because yeah, debate about aliens is a good one. All right, let's see what they think about aliens. Again, this is this is Bond's deal breaker when it comes to friends and relations. If yeah. you don't like aliens, you can't be Bond's friend. Well, one of them's in the Explorers Club, so I thought they've got to be pretty positive about things like that. It looks like Arun's pretty positive about it. So yeah. let's see oh. how Jessminder feels. Debate about aliens. There we go. <laughs> it's just funny watching these random waiters in the background. Oh no, oh. she looks like she's not a fan of aliens. Well, I think that means she's not a fan of alien abductions. Mm. That's what, how I read that, which I think is not a bad position to have. Well, without alien abductions, we wouldn't have Celine and Simone in our lives, would we? That's true, but we also... <laughs> <laughs> After that happened, you then, disab- you then set up wards <laughs> around... <laughs> around uh, the Eden Cho residence so they couldn't get abducted anymore. Yeah, well, I mean... <laughs> it's a complicated political issue in Simtown. It is, it is. Yeah. All right, well, people are feeling sleepy and getting up, so we're just going to end the meal, pay the bill. It's 3.30. <sighs> yeah, I think maybe the lesson for Bon here is try and end when things are going well. Yeah, and not rather, when your mm, prospective new friend is literally nodding off where he stands. Yeah. And also check on your new friend's dietary requirements and restrictions and things that they like and don't like before ordering for the table, Bon. That is a loner mistake, I gotta say. <laughs> I'm gonna say lesson learned. Lesson yeah. learned for Bon. Still, I'm gonna rate Bon a solid B plus for the evening. For effort, mostly, right? Yeah. Yeah, she went out there. She met some people. No one had a horrible time. A little bit awkward, but... Germany went okay. I just want to see her walking home from here because I think that's super nice. Yep, that's your apartment. Go there. Oh, she's going to call an Uber <laughs> to walk <laughs> it's to literally her across the square. apartment. <laughs> Where's Shredder? I don't know. He's so small. Maybe he's in her bed. No. Scratching post. Oh, can you see him? We can center on him. Here's Shredder. <laughs> so cute using that little litter box. It's mm. a massive litter box for somebody so small. Yeah, in our off YouTube lives, we've been trying to figure out where we would put a litter box for a cat because we're thinking about getting a cat. And it's tricky. There, yeah, there aren't that many great places. Like you don't want a litter box out of where people are necessarily. And it seems like a bathroom is a good place to put a litter box, but our bathrooms are not big enough. Yeah, they're tiny. Yeah, and yeah, we're we're going through a lot of discussion about <laughs> where to put that litter box. Yeah, it's the everything else you can fit, things like a little bed or a cardboard box to play in, those are fine. But litter mm. box, where the poop goes, <laughs> it's tricky. Yeah. I mean, you follow, who is he? Like the cat whisperer? Jackson type? Galaxy. Oh yeah, the devil cat yeah, guy. Who says, put them... 
in high traffic areas such as the dining room, Which is such as the living room. Ridiculous. Don't put potpourri or any fragrant stuff or air freshener around it because it'll put the cat off and have it open and exposed because that way the cat will feel most at ease. I mean, I understand the theory behind that, but that's, I think, prioritizing the cat over the people who are living with the cat and own the cat. Yeah. And I think the people don't necessarily want to have, you know, cat stuff, like, out in the middle of everything. I know. It's just not realistic, in my opinion. His show is, what, Cats from Hell or something? So I think his specific thing is, if your cats aren't happy, this is what you should do. So as you said, like, creating the perfect home for the cat... Mm -hmm. Not necessarily perfect for people, and for many cats, maybe they'd be fine with the litter box in the bathroom. But if you've got a really badly behaved cat, maybe there are things you can do to make it happier and less scratchy and squealy and nasty. Okay, well, Shredder is a really well-behaved cat, Mm -hmm. so there are no problems on that front. What Bon is going to do is cook him a gourmet meal. (sighs) How sweet. (laughs) Yeah. Hi! He's like got st- a different waddle going on oh, today. Oh, where you go? He's still like barely learning how to walk, it feels yeah. like sometimes. Yeah, so she's cooking him a gourmet meal, taking an example from her brother who did that the last time he was here. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> work well, for her starts in one hour. I think if she sees just Minder at work, hopefully the dynamic. Oh my goodness, Bon! <laughs> Shred away, <a> moment. <laughs> Hopefully she'll finish this in time. Oh, yeah, she will. Okay. So she'll see Jess Minder at work, and hopefully the uh, dynamic between them at work won't be as frosty as it was over their dinner. Yeah, hopefully it'll just be like, hey, good hanging out with you. Let's never do that again. (laughs) But we can certainly grab lunch in the office because it is really different socializing at work than socializing out of work. Yeah. Just, you know, maybe also they didn't want to talk about office stuff and then mm-hmm. they found they had nothing really to talk about and <laughs> burgers went wrong and that kind of thing. So yeah. I'm still optimistic about Bon getting on well with her. But yeah, we've still got to find us some um, new friends in downtown city living area. Yeah. I mean, should she just like hang out on a park bench or something <laughs> like that? Like, you know, we just got to find activities maybe she can go on like a jungle adventure and meet an explorer maybe the man felipe or something like that you know mabel can't have him all to herself that could be fun <laughs> so i said i was playing with one of my other sims off camera mm-hmm. and like people would call her up and say hey do you want to go out and hang out and i'd be like yep go there and they'd leave immediately they just disappear off the lot really yeah and it happened like five times in a row Mm. and it was yeah really annoying because she was trying to make friends people trying to make friends with her and they just ditched her as soon as she turned up and then like the 10th time she randomly bumped into somebody on the street and now they're best buds i think that sounds really rude (laughs) maybe (laughs) but this is the same sim who has like house bills in the thousands right yeah she's doing well but life hasn't been easy for her these last few weeks that's all i'll say okay here's just minder so i'm just gonna quickly Ooh. go up and say hello i don't know well we do have a thing to mind control <laughs> don't mind control her all right yet. all right all right and don't order her around no no don't, no, no we've got to be friendly come on gosh Joke about fashion, do something friendly. Friendly, friendly, friendly. All right, ask about salary. Ask about day, come on. Don't ask. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Bond's awkward. She's my kindred spirit, <laughs> you know? We're both super awkward. I know what it feels like. You're like, oh, what should I do? What should I do to be friends? I'm just going to say the first thing that comes into my brain, and it's the it's worst like, hey, thing. The first thing is the worst I hear thing. you were the only one in the office that didn't get a salary bump. <laughs> yeah that's okay. a bad thing to say that was a friendly wave okay um but she doesn't look that Ooh, interesting no but their friendship level has gone up a little bit um let's yeah. see i wish that these rotated better so let's that like brighton day brighton day that's so silly though Aww. complain about work like oh, okay. maybe you know bond complaining about work yeah that's just that's the universal currency of social interactions at work. Yeah, Although you hey. have to be careful with it. You don't want to be overheard complaining about work by the wrong people. The but... best thing to do is complain about people who definitely can't be in the same building. That's the key <laughs> thing. So you can complain about 
the government agency that gives you your grants to give you a secret underground research. <laughs> Say, huh, those government research of people. All right, see, it's already getting more They're friendly well. between them. See, I told you. I think this is a you. slow burn kind of relationship. Tell unbelievable story. I want to tell a not safe for work joke. Do what are you it. kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> I was attracted to the blue because of the confidence. Oh, dear. Oh, oh. oh. Does she find it funny? There's a, yeah, yeah there's right, good laughter. Right. Not busting a gut, but doing okay. Okay, so that seems all right. She left just Minder with a smile on her face. Yeah, and okay. I think she was just chortling about the joke to herself after <laughs> Bon had left. So I'm going to put the B plus up to an A minus. Well, okay, I was going to say she's finally earned the B plus properly. Okay, fine. You're inclined to give her <laughs> more credit than she is due. But I think that was a good kind of effort overall for Bond to reach out to people and it was good that she tried to socialize with a co-worker outside of work. Maybe she could also try and socialize with some of her other co-workers. That seems like a good place to start. Yep. Alrighty guys, well hopefully you have enjoyed this episode of our Sims 4 Let's Play where we tried to help Bond socialize with people and help Jamie with the running of his new restaurant Dinerberg. Please let us know in the comments what you think and if you are new to our channel, feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more Sims 4 on the way. Thanks for watching.